Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to add another language um, to Windows and to your keyboard so that you can utilize it in digitizing software. Um, first, we do need to go to the settings, you know, within the um, within Windows. And right now I'm working on Windows 10. So I'm going to go here uh, to the start menu and then settings. And within my settings, I have an option here for time and language. And I'm going to left click on this. And um, we're going to, on the left hand side, left click on language. When we left click on language, you see that you have the ability to change your keyboard and things like that. What we want to do is go under preferred languages and add a language. Those language will languages will actually show down here at the bottom. Right now you can see I have ENG uh, English selected. Um, we can also, I also have Hebrew in there as well. So I'm going to click on add a language and then you can kind of quickly search, you know, for your languages. Um, it's important to know how this language is, um, you know, or how the letters or the alphabet is um, input into, uh, you know, with the keyboard. Um, I don't know uh, what these letters mean or, you know, what <laughs> I think they actually input a little bit backwards than what we're used to. Um, but either way, let's go ahead and select that language. And once we select it, we'll hit next and um, we can install it. So we're going to go ahead and install. And right now what it's doing, it's going, going through and activating that so that we can utilize it on the keyboard. Again, I don't know what the letters are, um, you know, what the different keystrokes are um, when you uh, are using the Greek or Hebrew language. Uh, but uh, you are able to use it in your software. So we're going to wait for that to finish. And then once it's finished, we'll start up the software. And again, you'll see down here to switch between the different languages, you can actually single, simply left click, choose the language and your keyboard will convert. So I want to wait till that's absolutely finished. It does take a little bit of time because there's a lot of information going in there. And uh, once that's done, we'll go through and we'll start it. So now it's finished downloading. I'm going to go ahead and close that out. And here I will start the IDS program. And now again, there are some with the languages, there are certain alphabets or I'm sorry, certain fonts that only work with these languages. So I'm going to go here to insert text. And when I go to insert text down at the bottom, I'm going to change my keyboard to Greek. Now, uh, again, I am not sure if this, uh, what the letters mean, um, but sometimes some fonts are not offered in the Greek alphabet. Um, but I can see that the Arial is. Um, I'm just going and entering in letters. Again, I don't know what I'm spelling. Uh, but now those are Greek letters. Uh, I'll hit OK. And then I can generate my stitches and those Greek letters will appear. So to go back and forth between the different keyboards, you just left click. And now if I go to, and I changed it to English by clicking on it, if I go to insert text. Now if I type in regular, you know, uh, English letters, and press OK, those will now appear. So I do hope this helps. If you need anything else, please contact us and let us know. You can email me, Andrea, at zskmachines.com. Thank you.